Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking into the construction of the table for LR1 and LALR1 parsing, parsing techniques. So um, it's actually the same but actually it's quite easier when, when it comes to constructing the table. The shift operations will definitely be the same as what we've done in LR0 and SLR1 parsing techniques. The difference is in reduce moves. In SLR1, as you recall that in SLR1 we use the follow sets and for LR0 we just used, uh, we just put the uh, reduce moves under all the terminals. But in this case, the look aheads come in handy. So we put the reduce moves here in case of the look aheads. For example, uh, state, uh, for example look at state, um, state 2. So this is state 2. In st uh, no, no, sorry, not say state 2. Let's look at state 5. In state 5, um, let's just number, we numbered the rules like, like so. So if you number um, S, X and this, these rules like this, 1, 2 and 3, if we just number it like that and R1, R2, R3 goes, goes on like that. So I5, the rule in I5 corresponds to rule 1. So look at that. Here the look at for I5, the state 5 is dollar. So in under dollar, we just put R1. Same goes for 4. In 4, you can see that uh, the look ahead for this is A and B. So A and B, and under A and B, uh, the R3, uh, in state 4, we put R3. So in state 4, R3 under A and B is put. So as you can see, it's very similar. It's, it's exactly the same as LR0 and SLR1, only the difference is in reduce moves, and it made, it's made much easier because we completed the look aheads. Now let's go and see how LALR1 table looks like. It, it's actually just the merged format of this. If you can draw this, you can definitely draw this. So basically, we have the shift the shift moves. We have it like, for example, in 0, you go to 3. So, but since two states are merged and, and became 3, 6, so here the shift move is S3, 6. So I can, just forgot to write S. So it's S3, 6. S, 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 and those are the just reduced moves. And uh, go to is also the same, except that before we used just 9, now we're going to use 8, 9. Before we just used 3, now we're going to use 3, 6. And the, the reduce moves are just merged. So in 4, 7, as you can see, this is 4 and this is 7. The look ahead is here is AB and the look at here is do dollar. So A, B, dollar, we put R3 because X goes to B corresponds to the rule R3. So we just put it like that. Same goes for 8, 9. So in 8.9 we put R2 because R2 is the rule corresponding to the rules in 8.9. 8.9 is AX and 8 is also AS, AX and the look ahead is dollar and A and B. So we put R2 under, uh, we reduce the move, we put the reduce move R2 under these look aheads. So yeah, that's about it for the table and it, I know it was pretty simple and, uh, and everything and uh, compared to what we did back before, like we had to compute the follow sets and of course follow, computing the follow set is a really big um, process, especially if your context free grammar is very complicated, but I've shown you easier examples uh, how, on how to do that because of course it will take forever to finish and show it in a video. So yeah, that's about it for uh, LALR1 and LR0, LR1 parsing techniques. I hope you understood the concepts and everything and uh, give a thumbs up uh, to support this series and good luck.